As groundbreaking AI advancements arise, we frequently concentrate on the firm itself. We would like to recognize all leaders innovating in the world of AI and thank them for their contributions. By recognizing these inspiring individuals, we hope to encourage further advances in this rapidly growing field. Without them, many innovations wouldn't be possible today, from self-driving cars to intelligent medical diagnostic systems. We are excited to see what the future holds and the impact that these individuals will have on artificial intelligence in years to come. Here we review the top 10 AI professionals inspiring both their companies and the industry to unexplored heights of success. Number 10, Andre Karpathy, former senior director of AI at Tesla. With a passion and wealth of experience in artificial intelligence, Andre Karpathy formerly held the position of senior director at Tesla. Andre Karpathy is passionate about training deep neural networks on massive data sets. As Tesla's former senior director of AI, he led the autopilot computer vision team's in-house data labeling and running custom inference chips for neural network training, as well as deployment into production. Before becoming a part of Tesla, Karpathy was one of OpenAI's founding members and research scientists who studied convolutional recurrent neural networks while working towards his PhD with a focus on their applications in computer vision and natural language processing, NLP integration. Karpathy has also collaborated on numerous other AI-related projects, such as ImageNet Large Scale Visual Recognition Challenge and Neural Talk 2.0. With his impressive experience in both academia and industry, Karpathy is one of the leading figures in the artificial intelligence space. He is a prime example of how individuals can make an incredible impact in advancing technology. Number 9. Thomas Siebel, CEO and Chairman, C3.ai Thomas Siebel is a well-known entrepreneur and investor in the AI space. He founded C3.ai in 2009 to harness the power of large-scale data analysis and machine learning for predictive analytics applications, particularly within enterprise settings. Since then, he has helped shape the industry by introducing technologies such as real-time streaming analytics and an innovative software platform for building enterprise AI applications. Siebel is also an active speaker on big data technologies and their implications in business strategies. His insight continues to influence the way that organizations leverage AI technology to better understand customer behaviors, optimize supply chains, predict market trends, etc. On top of all of this, Siebel's leadership at C3.ai provides an example of how profitable investments can be made in artificial intelligence. With over four decades of experience in software engineering and technology leadership, Thomas Siebel has an impressive track record. He was the chairman and CEO at Siebel Systems from 1993 to 2006, overseeing its swell in growth during that period. Subsequently, he started C3 Energy with the mission to cultivate cloud-based predictive analytics for smart energy grids. This venture proved successful as it led him to co-found C3.ai in 2017 a platform dedicated to providing enterprise AI solutions for multiple industries including healthcare, financial services, manufacturing, and more. After his fruitful tenure at Oracle, where he held a multitude of executive positions, Thomas Siebel chose to launch the remarkable and famed CRM software company, Siebel Systems. This move was met with great success as it rapidly became one of the fastest growing technology companies in the United States by 1999. Ultimately purchased by Oracle six years later, it's clear that Mr. Siebel has always been deeply invested in furthering artificial intelligence in business applications. Number eight, Poppy Gustafson, CEO Darktrace. Poppy Gustafson is the CEO of Darktrace, a cybersecurity company that utilizes AI to detect and respond to potential data breaches. With more than 20 years of experience in the technology industry, Poppy has built up an impressive portfolio of knowledge and experience in artificial intelligence related technologies. Notably, she is also a mentor for the Women in Tech program at Cambridge University, where she helps young women gain exposure to the digital world. Gustafson's leadership has helped shape Darktrace into one of the most successful digital security companies today, and her accomplishments serve as an inspiration for anyone looking to break into the tech industry. 
Poppy Gustafson has spearheaded Dark Trace in its enormous growth and international expansion. Her accomplishments earned at our Vodafone's Women of the Year for Technology and Innovation 2020, Tech Businesswoman of the Year at the UK Tech Awards 2019, as well as Vuiv Klikwo Business Woman Awards winner 2019. In addition, she was awarded an OBE, Officer of the Order of the British Empire, along with Dark Trace's Chief Technology Officer in recognition of their unparalleled contribution to the cybersecurity field in 2019. Number 7. Anna Patterson, Managing Partner and Founder of Gradient Ventures as well as Vice President of Engineering at Google. Anna Patterson is a renowned artificial intelligence expert, managing partner, and founder of Gradient Ventures. Alphabet and Patterson have united to form Gradient Ventures, a company designed to finance emerging artificial intelligence startups. Additionally, the duo is responsible for initiating Cule, an innovative search engine incorporating clustering technology. Patterson has been in the tech industry for over 20 years, where she held executive positions at various companies such as Quora. At Quora, Anna was responsible for leading the engineering division and building up the company's successful search engine capabilities. Additionally, she worked with Facebook's infrastructure team and led the development of Google's first AI-focused chip division called Tensor Processing Unit, TPU. As a VP of engineering at Google, she was not only able to increase the search engine index size by more than 10 times upon launch. Furthermore, her expertise helped Android scale from 3 million phones up to over 1 billion. She also spearheaded projects such as launching Google Play and leading the search infrastructure and recommendation teams. Patterson is widely known throughout the artificial intelligence community due to her extensive contributions to the field. In 2017, she co-founded Gradient Ventures, which serves as a platform for early-stage startups to accelerate the development of AI products. Furthermore, her work at Google has enabled many businesses to embrace the transformative power of machine learning and artificial intelligence. Anna Patterson is an exemplary leader in the tech industry for spearheading advances in artificial intelligence technologies and providing a platform for innovators to bring their visions into reality. She continues to inspire individuals from all corners of the world as she paves the way for a brighter future with her revolutionary projects. Number 6. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI Sam Altman is the CEO of OpenAI, a San Francisco-based nonprofit artificial intelligence research organization. OpenAI was founded in 2015 with the mission to develop AI that benefits humanity. Under Altman's leadership, the organization has achieved major milestones, such as developing groundbreaking technologies for natural language processing and robotics. Altman is no stranger to tech innovation. He founded Y Combinator in 2005, a prominent venture capital firm that provides seed money to startups all around the world. In addition, he was president of Y Combinator from 2014 until early 2019, when he left to focus on his work with OpenAI full-time. Altman's expertise and experience have enabled him to become one of the most influential figures in the tech industry. With his leadership, OpenAI has been able to develop cutting-edge technologies that could potentially revolutionize our world and further expand artificial intelligence capabilities. In response to the global pandemic, Altman was determined to assist in the struggle against COVID-19 and consequently assisted in funding clinical trials with TrialSpark as well as creating Project Covalence. Moreover, Altman is an investor in various successful businesses, including Airbnb, Stripe, and Reddit, proving his success across different industries. At OpenAI, Altman is leading a team of highly talented individuals who are pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible with AI technology. By advancing both research and its applications, Altman's efforts will undoubtedly make an impact on society for generations to come. He serves as a beacon of hope for a brighter future powered by artificial intelligence. Number 5. David Hansen, the founder and CEO of Hansen Robotics. David Hansen is the founder and CEO of Hansen Robotics, a world-renowned robotics research and development firm. His work has focused on developing robots that are capable of displaying complex facial expressions and emotions akin to those found in humans. In 2015, he unveiled Sophia, one of the most advanced humanoid robots ever created, at the SXSW Interactive Festival. 
Sophia is a humanoid robot and is capable of conversing with people seamlessly in a naturalistic manner. Fueled by the ambition to construct robots that possess a sense of presence and emotion, Hansen unites artistry with cognitive science and robotics engineering. To make his dreams become reality, he designed new types of skin material and facial expression mechanisms for humanoid robotic sculptures as part of Hansen Robotics projects. By merging creative elements with cutting-edge technology, Hansen is blazing a trail in the advancement of AI within robotics. Number 4. Dario Gill, SVP and Director of Research, IBM Dario Gill is the Senior Vice President and Director of Research at IBM. His team oversees research projects ranging from artificial intelligence and quantum computing to internet security, which spans six continents and 12 labs around the world. Gill has been with IBM since 2005, where he began as a research staff member in the Semiconductor Solutions Group. As the member of IBM's technology roadmap and technical community, Dario Gill is paving the way for innovation in hybrid clouds, AI, semiconductors, quantum computing, and exploratory science. He led IBM to become the first company ever to make programmable quantum computers accessible via cloud services, a remarkable feat. Additionally, he spearheads an influential corporate research laboratory with over 3K researchers working under him, aptly named IBM Research. Number 3. Rana L. Kaliobi, CEO and co-founder of Effectiva and deputy CEO of SmartEye. Rana L. Kaliobi is the chief executive officer and co-founder of Effectiva, as well as the deputy CEO of SmartEye. El Kaliubi has been a pioneer in the field of emotion recognition technology. She studied and developed facial recognition algorithms that could capture subtle expressions from human faces. With these innovations, AI-powered applications can sense and respond to human emotions more naturally. Having been granted the title of MIT Technology Review Innovator Under 35 in 2009, El Kaliubi is one of the foremost authorities on emotion recognition technology. She has been featured on numerous media outlets, such as TED Talks, BBC News, VentureBeat, and many more for her remarkable contributions to the field of artificial intelligence. Since its founding in 2009, Effectiva has developed groundbreaking software that utilizes AI-powered facial recognition technology to drive effective user engagement and customer service. As CEO of SmartEye, El Kaliubi is leveraging this expertise to develop a driver monitoring system designed to make roads safer through improved situational awareness. Number 2. Demis Hassabis, CEO of DeepMind Technologies Demis Hassabis is the CEO of DeepMind Technologies, a London-based artificial intelligence research company. He is widely regarded as one of the world's most influential artificial intelligence experts, having made significant contributions to various AI projects such as AlphaGo and WaveNet. Hasabis has always been passionate about artificial intelligence. He created a chess computer program at the tender age of 15, and at 17 years old, designed a game called Theme Park. He subsequently studied computer science and cognitive neuroscience at UCL, University College London, and later opted for a PhD in cognitive neuroscience from Cambridge, which allowed him to further his research into artificial intelligence. DeepMind Technologies was founded in 2010 to push the boundaries of AI technologies and develop machines that can learn for themselves. Under Hasabis's leadership, DeepMind has achieved remarkable successes such as AlphaGo, an AI-based program that learned how to play Go and beat professional players at the game. Despite being a relatively young company, DeepMind has already solidified itself as one of the leading companies in artificial intelligence research. Number 1. Andrew Ng, CEO, Landing AI Andrew Ng is the CEO and co-founder of Landing AI, a company that develops artificial intelligence solutions for businesses. He also serves as an adjunct professor at Stanford University where he teaches courses on machine learning and artificial intelligence. Ng has made incredible contributions to the field of artificial intelligence. In 2011, he co-founded Google Brain, an AI research division located at Google headquarters. With the help of his team, Ng was able to develop a deep learning platform that enabled machines to learn faster and more accurately. 
In 2014, he left Google and founded Coursera, a massive open online course, MOOC platform, offering courses in various topics, including artificial intelligence. He also co-founded deeplearning.ai, a platform for professionals to learn more about machine learning and artificial intelligence. Ng has been recognized by various organizations for his contributions to the AI field. He was awarded the Benjamin Franklin Medal in Computer Science and Cognitive Science in 2016, as well as the Technical Excellence Award from Google in 2010. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up, and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.